The one thing that will determine success or failure in your grain storage system is how well you manage your grain hygiene. Grain hygiene is a combination of things. It's about removing sites of harbourage for insects where they can be, where they can live, and it's about removing their food source so that they can't build up their numbers and survive. Some easy things to do is when you look around this storage system is mow out grass, weeds, spray them as well so you kill them out so that you remove harbour sites. Get rid of rubbish, things like tin, bits and pieces that are lying around the storage area so that there's not a place for insects to hide. The other one that's a really big one to do is to remove any grain spills. Anywhere where you've moved grain, you've shifted grain, where you've loaded trucks or where you've unloaded silos, we always find we have grain spills so it's really important that we remove those, get rid of those grain spills by either burying it or by burning it. It also means that we don't just concentrate on the grain storage site and the system that is the complex of silos or sheds. We also look at the way we move and handle grain. So we clean out headers, we clean out augers, we clean out chaser bins, we clean out field bins. That's the best way that we can ensure that we prevent infestations occurring before we have to deal with them. And it's always the best way we can manage our storage complex. Grain hygiene also involves the step of structurally treating the grain storage surface that we store our grain in. We do that by applying a surface treatment to the structural um, surface and we do that so that if any adults come in after applying that treatment or if any adults are in that silo that we haven't managed to get rid of, we kill them with that structural treatment. The treatment we're going to look at doing today is one called a diatomaceous earth or a DE as it's commonly called treatment into the grain silo behind me. This product works in the manner that it actually desiccates the insect's waxy surface layer and it dehydrates and dies, so it's a physical action on the insect. The beauty of that is, is that we don't have any resistance to this treatment currently, and it's one that we don't think we will get a resistance to. It's also a non-chemical treatment which fits in very nicely to a system that's trying to move away from having chemical residues. Recapping those main points on grain hygiene, it's important that we remove any sites that insects can harbour in, remove any food sources for insects. That's both around the silo complex it's using and cleaning up all of the uh, grain handling equipment, the grain harvesting equipment. It's also about then doing a structural treatment of those pieces of equipment and the grain storage complex. All this information again is going to be in the GRDC fact sheet. It's also available on our Grain Storage Extension Project website www.storedgrain.com.au and if there's one thing you do in your whole grain storage management plan a cheap and easy and effective way to control and manage insects is grain hygiene. Prevention is always better than cure.